Okay. I'm here at the calling tower in Raleigh, West Virginia, here in, La in Raleigh County. I'm filming this video on the February 25th, 2021. Well, I'm not going in there. First time I was here was 2008. I remember the rail, yard, rail track still came through the calling tower, and I think the thing underneath was still there. But <laughs> since then, CSX has filled it in. Things will keep out. I'm not going in there. CSX clearly don't want people in there. Something that's going to walk around the outside. They might be getting ready to tear all this down. But the coal mine south is full of water for the coaling tower. That was a big bird poo. Yes, I dropped, dropped a piece of coal in there. Okay, I'm tangled up here. But that's not important. The calling tower. Then we'll point out that train that's been sitting there so long. The wheels are so rusty. But the light bulb is still in there. It's amazing that old school light bulb is still there. Unfortunately, somebody busted it. There's the old what they call the factory lights. Yeah, that light bulb's broke. I don't know if people still box it or they broke it. They just do it or they broke from the wind and storms. Because if people wouldn't do that, of course when I was a kid I thought that was cool to throw blocks and stuff. No. It's kind of a thing you do with these kids. But up there is the coal suit. They used to load trains of coal through that coal suit back in the day. They used to actually load up trains. But I'm going to point out the different tracks here. i got to get back to the car and get back to Mount Hope for that paperwork i got to do. Okay, I thought that was a train. But look how super rusty the rails is on this track. Now, I think I have an older video on YouTube where before I, where I went and looked around. CSX has recently put that sign up because people keep wanting to take pictures of videos, so I wouldn't recommend it coming here. Well, if you want to come and film trains, that's okay, but I wouldn't recommend coming here and playing around the coin tower and the abandoned buildings on the railroad yard property. I just see the plywood over that thing. This is not a bad area though if you want to film trains. It's actually a pretty nice area to film trains. But it's not been that long ago since the trains been on this track, I could tell. I'm trying to think when the last time a train was on this track. I don't remember seeing one on this track, but I could tell by the rust. You could tell the difference. This track is a lot rustier. Got this well. And you got this well. And this well. This track's had something on it within the past few months, I think. The amount of rain we've been getting the past three months, there could have been something there within the past month or two. Because how rusty it is, it's not. That's like a couple months worth of rust, rain rust. Now, but these coal cars, something's off to the point out I did not think about. All these lumber cars are sitting next to my, about a mile or two up the road from my house for nearly a year. I never thought to look at the wheels and see how much rust is on the wheels. Now this and I will because CSX is storing all this here. I think both of these coal trains have been here for years. They just use this as storage track. They might be getting ready to store stuff in that track. Actually, I think the last time I walked to the rail yard here, there was some coal cars parked here on this track. And that, and that was back in October or November. Might be November, I'm trying to remember for sure. I know these rails are super rusty. So are the wheels. Lots of rust on the wheels. I can't tell on that one. Yeah, it's got rust on it too. These coal cars are just being stored. Apparently, there's so many mines shutting down, so many mines going under. CSX has all kinds of cars, but then they built, bought a bunch of new cars, had a bunch of new coal cars built. So I think these have been here at least 10 years. Oh, look, a camera. That train just took a picture of me. <laughs> I'm trying not to draw much attention to myself. With the trucks sitting there, I think the train crews should be coming with the train any minute now. I just don't know where they are. Yeah, that dumb zipper's hooked up, but so I'm just beyond this one. Yeah, I think this is the train that's been here for a while. 
I remember that friend I went to school with running the house down here back in 2008 there was, for a couple of years there was there was some of these cars that that one set of coal cars was here but I think they've been here that long yeah I don't know when the last time a train's been on this particular track. Well, the train's on this track now, but I'm trying to say I don't know when the last time the train was moved. That's what I'm trying to say. That one there's probably been uh, only been there a year or two. Yeah. Okay, maybe that has been moved. This is the track that tra oh, most of the trains come on. They still come on this in a lot. They still use this in a decent amount too. I guess I don't use this anymore. There's, there's still wells missing. I think that still wells still here last time I was here. So CSX has recently removed that. Of course, it hasn't been a train on this track for probably in my lifetime. I don't think it's been found on this track anyways. But I just thought it'd be fun to point all that out. I'm going to head out because I don't think the trains will come in time. Mount Spikemore. That, there must be at least a million railroad spikes there, at least. 